Well, welcome to Hexter Cafe. Yeah, thanks. Uh, we're talking about One Shield, the shield that helps you connect your Arduino to your smartphone so you can control it with all kinds of plugins. And what kind of stuff can you do with One Shield? Oh, a lot of stuff. So, uh, One Shield is the idea of basically leveraging the hardware in your phone and mm -hmm. using it with the Arduino, right? So, your phone has a lot of sensors, uh, over 10 sensors, gyroscope, uh, GPS, accelerometer, and so on and so on. Uh -huh. And also, it has a touch screen, uh, Wi Fi, and so on. So the idea is to break down all these hardware components of the phone and getting them to Arduino. So it's mm -hmm. not just the phone controlling the Arduino, but you also can control the phone from the Arduino. Sweet. Yeah. So instead of having like a Wi-Fi shield and a bunch of sensors plugged in at the same time, you're just sort of like using it all in one. Exactly. And it's super compact and awesome. Sweet. Yeah. You have a couple of new things out there. Is that right? Yes. We just so, saw them at Maker Faire. Yeah. So uh, finally, we shipped the One Shield uh, Plus, which works with iOS and Android. Uh -huh. And uh, it uh, it has a Bluetooth low energy uh, module that, uh, and also we've made some some modifications in the in the board itself, and um, yeah, here it is. So uh, so we actually modified some of the some of the features on the board itself, like the reset button. We moved it to the side so that you can oh. access it uh, if you have like multiple boards stacked on top of it. Mm -hmm. And also we added these kind of. Um, uh, uh, pins that you can use jumpers so that you can uh, leverage the serial pins, not just zero on one with, uh -huh. with the Arduino. So then you can operate one shield on other uh, pins. And, and we learned this oh, from, cool. from feedback from everyone who was using it. And yeah, we decided to change it uh, in, in this board. So. so there's loads of flexibility now. Yeah. Oh. yeah. And you do have a new logo, but we, have, we, we can't see it here logo. yet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you were a maker fair, you might have gotten a sneak peek. It's yeah. really cool looking, I gotta say. <laughs> Uh, and so this other thing you were telling me about, yeah. what's this? So um, from from the workshops we, we've been doing for the past two years with One Shield, uh, it's very exciting to see people do actual actual stuff like controlling lights with their voice, uh, with easy, easy coding. So you just write one line of code and then you can control the lights, you can control uh, uh -huh. door locks, but then no one does implement this at home. Uh -huh. And the reason why is because people fear of actually interacting with uh, uh, high voltage uh, like uh, wires right, and, and, yeah. and damaging the whole wiring in, in I don't house. want to mess around with my yeah my exactly lights. and 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 also it uh, it's kind of it's kind of look I know we're geeks and we love how the Arduino works and, uh -huh. and the wires and everything but um uh, if, if you have a girlfriend it's uh she she like she she's not gonna accept the whole wiring to think on or if you live by, with I your mom know. right i've been a girlfriend yeah. and i okay. like wiring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so the idea is to like uh, make uh, these uh, home automation kits that allows you to control lights door locks and everything mm -hmm. uh without interacting with high voltage uh wires and without uh, soldering without mm -hmm. uh, programming uh, unless you need to of course um, and, and you just fix it on top of the light switch, the door locks or any power outlet, and then mm -hmm. you have control over it from your smartphone. Awesome. So it was derived from our, from our, uh, makers who, who just snapped this idea at us. And yeah. Sweet. So it plugs into an outlet. Yeah, exactly. That's so here it's on top of the light switch. It's on top of the, uh, deadbolt, like a, the door lock. Uh -huh. And it, it kind of gives a sense that it's a DIY kit, but at the end it has this consumer-ish look. Right? Yeah. It looks a lot nicer. Yeah. Uh, I remember. Switching out GFCIs in an old co-op I lived in, and yeah. like, just dealing with that <laughs> high power was something I did not want to do unless I had to, you know. Yeah. So a little bit freaky. Cool. Let's see what else have we got here? Uh, we also have. Um, let me stop sharing that thing. <laughs> uh, let's have a look at your page. And your. Uh, one shield page mm -hmm. is gorgeous and shows you exactly how to get started. Do you have uh, the app on your phone that you can yeah, show sure. us what it does? Sure. So uh, let me open it for you. Mm -hmm. So it has a uh, here you can scan and connect to any one shield board. Can but... we up the brightness at all? Oh yeah, sure. Awesome. Beautiful. So, so here's in person. Yeah. So here's the app. You can select the accelerometer sensor. You can select the camera. You can select uh, Facebook, for example. Uh, anything in the phone. You have like a long, long list, cool. and then you can use like voice recognition, text to speech, the opposite. Uh -huh. And then you go here, and and uh, you can see actually like the accelerometer data changing ah. while we're here. And uh, and then you write the code on the Arduino itself to use our library. You just uh, let's say you wanna you wanna tweet from uh -huh. from the Arduino. You just say Twitter tweet. 
that's it. Then you put your tweet. You do all the awesome. login from the app itself, so you don't have to get it like a security token and then put it in the code or something. Oh yeah, and you don't have to like install any libraries or anything. What yeah, is just there a Arduino uh, library for one shield as a whole. Yeah, exactly. So okay. with just one library, and then in the code itself, you can actually optimize uh, the size of the code by like just including the uh, specific shield that you want. Oh, use. nice. Yeah. Coolio. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, so if you want to get started with that, uh, just go to oneshield.com on the click getting started page. Mm -hmm. There's also uh, a link to all the projects integrated right into your homepage. But these are, of course, yeah. uh, do you have any favorite projects that you've seen people build with this? I do. Oh, yeah. If, if, yeah. You, if you might want to, yeah, this one. Uh, sure. So yeah, this uh, this actually won the competition that we ran uh, last year on Hackster. Uh, That's pretty awesome. Yeah. So he, he, he used uh, like the Pebble Watch and along with the Tasker and he plugged one shield in the Arduino in his car and uh -huh. uh, he had control from the, his Pebble Watch. That's so that was pretty, pretty interesting. Cool. Yeah. I'm jealous. <laughs> Does that require a certain type of car? Um, I guess, uh, I guess, I don't know. I... I guess as long as you can figure out, he says, which wire in your car does what. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh, another one who, uh, one of our makers in, in Egypt, he, uh -huh. Uh, he actually hacked the car like literally with the fuse box. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and he did the, uh, the security system with it, where he sends an SMS when the car uh, gets out of, of certain coordinates, so it's stolen. Oh, so wow. he put like an old phone in the car, so then he has coordinates and he also mm -hmm. has the ability to send SMS. Cool. And then he can send an SMS back to the car to tell it to stop. And, Useful uh, if you have teenagers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Or, or thieves, so. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, right. um, and so, well, before we get on to this blog post, actually, how, where can you get the One Shield Plus mm -hmm. and uh, the Toglet kit? Are those both available? Yeah, so the One Shield Plus has just uh, shipped uh, today out of China, uh -huh. and uh, we'll have it in stock in, in the US in about a week. Awesome. Uh, yeah, but you can always uh, like make an order on, on our website, and mm -hmm. then we'll ship it uh, right to you. When you say in stock in the US, is that yeah. going to be in stores somewhere? Or? In, uh, on Amazon, basically, oh, cool. and uh, also on our website. So we ship it like, within within three or four days, it will be there. So Awesome. So yeah. if you got an urgent product all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah of course. And uh, for for the uh, toggle kits, uh, it's actually not uh, not yet available. We're just mm -hmm. testing it with with the makers at the Maker Fair, and the feedback was amazing. Uh, we got uh, we got a lot of requests on some features, and uh -huh. we're gonna use that to uh, modify our next uh, prototype, like doing the manual switches and doing the manual knob and the door lock and everything. Oh, so that's yeah. accessible as well as yeah, your exactly. Phone. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah you want to yeah. have a manual override. You can't you can't give the robots too much power, yeah. or they'll start, <laughs> start taking over. Uh, and then finally, we have also a blog post from mm -hmm. Islam, your co-founder, yeah. uh, about doing testing on the yeah. One Shield for iOS. Uh -huh. So if you're interested in that, uh, take a look at hackster.io slash blog. Uh, and it's an incredibly awesome, in-depth, detailed account of how you go through rounds of product testing with some fantastic pictures and things. Uh, including more pictures of the interface in case you're curious and you want to give it a shot before you uh, actually go and buy a windshield. But you should because it's amazing uh, and it's really popular. There's a million projects on Hackster. I don't think literally a million, but close to a million. <laughs> close, uh, yeah. So it's really easy to get started with. And uh, yeah, check it out. Awesome. Well, thank you for coming yeah, on. Yeah, thanks, thanks a lot, Alex. Um, I hope you have an awesome day. We'll catch you next yeah. time. Bye.